Okay, I got the boy to driving school. I had to lay down after I did my bed, but I'm getting back up. So let's get this day started because there are no excuses. And I've got life to live. God, give me another day. So got to fight all the way through. I'm going to get in my chair here. I have my towel there from this morning. <laughs> Slowly walking. <clears throat> I can do this. I gotta go finish getting dressed, so let's go take a ride. Here we go. Oh, thank God for wheelchairs, I'm telling you. Get a little exercise in with the scoop. Okay, Google. Turn volume to seven. I need my praise music. Because God is good in everything and every struggle. You have to ask, Lord, what are you teaching me? Endurance, strength, <coughs> perseverance, man. Turn the light on. This is where it all happens in this bathroom. Thank God it's really big, wheelchair accessible. My husband's always thinking of me and everything we purchase, everything we get. So look at this horrible mess. Whoa. <laughs> I just leave things out because it's so hard to get things out. So just make life easier. Ain't hurt nobody. A little messy, but no one really sees it. Unless you flash it up on YouTube. <laughs> Got my little chair here. Woohoo, I made it. So, give me a minute. I'm going to get myself together here. And I'll be right back. Little by little, I'm getting there. Okay, stage two. Got the hair up. How am I going to get that when I can't lift my arms? I don't know. Done brush the teeth. I got my moisturizer and sunscreen on. And now to straighten the hair. And um, put my makeup on. I forgot. Feeling a little nauseous because it hurts. I'm in pain, so I get a little nauseous when I'm in this much pain. But um, I can do it. I'm one step closer to getting up and getting on with my day. So thankful I made it this far. So thankful. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, I got the hair done. Super excited. It's not perfect in the back. It's a little wavy. But don't we all need a little bit of, you know, oomph? I got some oomph. That's what it is. If my husband were here, he'd fix it. But you know what? I call it GE good enough. I like it. I'm feeling better. And as I continue to get dressed and get up, I just see God's glory all around me and his face just shining upon me and just radiating all around me because I know this is not my strength, but his because I am not strong enough without him. It is his strength that flows through me, that gets me up through every battle I face every morning. So let's get this makeup on. I've got things to do. Ta-da! And here I am. I've made it. I'm feeling much better, ready to move. Still a little bit slow, but a little bit slow is okay. And God just proved to me that I'm stronger than I think. And he does this daily. This is my daily battle that many don't see. This is the story I write about. God's grace every day in every battle, our daily battles. And he continues to help me overcome just like he continues to help you overcome your battles. But um, I wear my hand of Christ on me. I know that's not what it's called, but I call it that. It, it is from the Holy Lands. Jennifer um, Rodriguez made it for me. And it reminds me that God's hand is always on me. So I'm going to get through the day. And today's a very special day because um, I do have a surgery, surgery number 17 that we're preparing for in six to nine months. So um, a lot of work to be done, a lot of got to keep the physical therapy up. So I make it that far out. Um, and one thing I promised myself the next time that I had a surgery I'm going to make sure my room is painted because I'll spend a lot of time there. So I need it to be peaceful, warm, and uh, so I can get through that big battle. Here's the daily battles, but those ones, whew, those ones, that's a whole different story. But um, these are the stories I share in my book. I am um, busy writing and I'm very happy with um, what 
is is coming along. There's so much to share, and I just pray that um, God continues to be the pencil in my hand because it is His story. So um, we will see, and I will keep you posted on how that writing goes. But a friend's going to help me because I'm terrible. I am not a decorator at all by any means, and there's so many colors to choose from. So she's going to help me because that's her expertise. So. God is good, always putting the right angels at the right time in, in my life and in yours. You just got to open your eyes and see it. So here's to Friday. Shh, I can throw the wheelchair away. I can wobble around. And I'm so thankful for another day. And no matter how hard it was, the one thing that I can say is, you know, I, I pray for those that aren't able to get through the battle and that aren't able to move themselves. And there are particular people I think of and I pray for daily. So through it all. Through that battle, I'm always praying for someone else to get through their battle as well. There's power in prayer, people. Power in prayer. Stay tuned because I will continue writing my book, Scars for Christ.